Hello friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Gina Louise. Let's get right into this project today. I have a funny story about this project. I've been dying to make these pumpkins out of 4x4s. It's just a 4x4 post from Home Depot, cut down. And I was at Home Depot before I went to my favorite thrift store and forgot to buy 4x4 posts. And I walk into my thrift store and this is sitting on the shelf with 30% off. So I decided I was just going to buy this one and give it a little makeover. I grabbed some stuff to embellish it. I had this fall garland from Dollar Tree. And also when I was at the thrift store hanging on the wall, I found this bag with like fall little berries and leaves and pumpkins and it was $2.99 with 30% off and there was so much fun stuff in here to do embellishing with so I figured I could do a couple of projects and grab this as well. So I'm just going to use a couple of things from this bag. Look it had these like sparkly little berry things and leaves and little pumpkins and I figured oh, I could do so much fun stuff with this. Here's a better look at all the fun stuff I'm going to play with today. Look how cute this stuff is. I could do so many fun things with it. First I'm going to remove the sticker and then clean it off with alcohol. And then I'm going to remove all the little fuzzies that sticks to the wood after I'm done cleaning it. Now to remove all the greenery on top. Are these brad nails that I'm pulling out? I have no clue. I've never used a brad nail. Nailer, if you know, let me know in the comments below because I'm dying to own one. Now I'm going to repaint the pumpkin in the colors I've been using this season. I've been using Apple Barrel Azalea Blush and Apple Barrel's Crown Gold and Waverly's chalk paint in agave. I just need to desensitize that bright orange because it's not one of my favorite colors and it's not really used in my home decor. So I was blending the gold and the blush together to bring down the orange and I just love the way it turned out. Now I'm going to blend these colors together and I am by no means an painting artist. I've never taken an art class in my life. I've just been self-taught with all the art things that I do and I have to thank Wendy from White Sparrow Living and Olivia from Olivia's Romantic Home because they both gave me the courage to try this out. I've watched them blend paints and play with it until they got a color or a shade or a look they desired. So I got Brave and tried it as well and I had a lot of fun doing it. I have another project that I'm going to post as well that I did the blending with that I got a little better at, you'll see. And so I encourage you as well to just give it a shot, try it out, have fun, don't be nervous, who cares, you can always paint over it if you don't like it, just keep playing and blending until you see something you like. I also did a bunch of rocks for my garden like this as well which I will be posting those as well. I used a little bit of the agave to kind of make the little lines that you see in pumpkins to give the illusion of it. And I just kept playing and blending with the colors until I really liked what I had.
If you are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps my channel grow. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. See how easy that was and what a difference it makes? I love the way it looks. Now on to my favorite part of doing DIYs. Time to embellish. I'm going to take some of these little bead berries, whatever they are, and I'm going to cut some pieces off and I'm going to hot glue it on and I'm going to twirl it up and make the little drendels. Is that what they're called that's on a pumpkin? Drendels? Is that the right word? I actually never knew what it was called and I heard one of my favorite DIYers say it and I believe they're called drendels. If you know, please leave a comment below and let me know if they're called drendels. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I love these little sparkly beads, so I'm going to hot glue them and I'm going to curly cue them. And let's see what else I decide to put on this pumpkin to embellish it. Oopsie, they're called tendrils. I just googled it. <laughs> Hope you found that as amusing as I did. Now I'm just making them into little curly cues to create the tendrils. I usually do this around a pencil and then slide them off, but because these have the little berries on it, I didn't know if it would work as well. Now I'm hot gluing this little sparkly maple leaf around the stem of the pumpkin and I'm just wrapping the stem of the maple leaf around the pumpkin stem so it holds on tight. I'm going to add a little more hot glue. I just love the way this maple leaf has little sparkles of glitter on it. When I finished embellishing it, I decided to add a raffia bow, and I'm not sure if I like the way it looks. I felt like it was missing a bow, but then it seemed like it was too busy when I put the raffia bow in. So I'm going to show you both before I put the raffia bow in and after, and then you tell me which you liked better. And here are the final results. And what do you think of my little painted Halloween rocks? Do you like it with the raffia bow? I'm going to show you a picture of it with and without and tell me what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.